To be like Jesus in planning, consider the unending future. For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. 1 Timothy 4 and verse 8 The accounts of every business, the details of every transaction, pass the scrutiny of unseen auditors, agents of him, who never compromise with injustice, never overlooks evil, never palates wrong. Against all evildoers, God's law utters condemnation. They may discard that voice. They may seek to drown its warning, but in vain it follows them. It makes itself heard. It destroys their peace, if unheeded. It pursues them to the grave. It bears witness against them at the judgment. A quenchless fire it consumes at last, soul and body. What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Mark 8 verse 36 and 37. This is a question that demands consideration by every parent, every teacher, every student, by every human being, young or old, no scheme of business or plan of life can be sound or complete that embraces only brief years of this present life and makes no provision for the unending future. Let the youth be taught to take eternity into their reckoning. Let them be taught to choose the principles and seek the possessions that are enduring. To lay up for themselves that treasure in heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, nor mock corrupted. Luke 12 and verse 33. All who do this are making the best possible preparation for life in this world. No man or woman can lay up treasure in heaven without finding life on earth, thereby enrich and ennoble. Godliness is profitable unto all things having promise of a life that now is and of that which is to come. 1 Timothy 4 and verse 8 To be like Jesus, June 28 As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.